Why? To improve your karma with Saturn, because you have to practice to accept the unacceptable. You have to practice to accept what you can't control. And trust me, I do not want to accept who my president is, but what choice do I have? So these are just some of my remedies, which I wanted to discuss for Saturn. Humility is the last virtue I wanted to mention. This is a nice checklist to have. There's always people in our life who take our ego down a notch. Maybe it's our mother, father, or our older sibling, or our younger sibling, or our aunt, or our uncle, or some of our closest friends who like to joke around with us. Um, and although it hurts our ego, when these people um, take our ego down a notch, it actually improves our karma with Saturn because it creates humility. So if someone makes a joke about you that hurts your ego a little bit, and instead of getting angry, you are able to laugh about that, that's very good to improve your relationship with Saturn as well. Um, so these are just some of the different layers of remedies. Um, oh, one last layer, and I save it for last because it's not the most important, but gemstone. I almost never recommend the blue sapphire gemstone. Um, I, I usually, re okay, so the um, blue sapphire gemstone first um, is only um, suggested for someone who has already completed Sati Sati and Saturn Return and Saturn Mahadasha at least once. So never give a blue sapphire to anyone who hasn't completed all three of those cycles of shunning. So that means I never give a blue sapphire fire to someone who hasn't finished their Shani Mahadasha. See, but because my Shani is in Sagittarius, Mulanakshatra. So even though at the end of my Saturn Mahadasha, I would like to give myself a blue sapphire, because Saturn is not in that strong of a position in a Jupiter sign, even though I'm ruled by Aquarius and it's in the 11th house, so it kind of makes up for it a little bit. But so, so, so I have lots of different theories, but again, don't even consider blue sapphire till someone has completed all of their rotations of Saturn, especially Sati Sati Saturn return Saturn Mahadasha. And you know, in gemstone remedy, how they usually recommend that the gem will touch the skin. Not for blue sapphire. Only if the Saturn is exalted um, or an Aquarius or Capricorn. Otherwise, I will put barrier between the gemstone and the skin. Because what we want to do is the gemstone to capture the challenging energies from that planet, but then not be reprocessed back into you. Because one of the things that um, Dr. Ladd, my teacher, said, he says, the planets are always looking at us. And if you see, and if you're wearing like a blue sapphire, instead of all of Saturn's energy affecting your whole body, it starts to focus, it's at sending its energy into your blue sapphire. If that, if that blue sapphire is open, it gets filtered partially and then gets reprocessed into your body. So just be careful about open-ended blue sapphires unless you have Saturn in a very good position. In general, the only gemstone I, I, I recommend for people in these stages of their Saturn work is the amethyst gemstone. It's much more mild, it's much more subtle, and um, it's best when, Jup um, when Saturn is in a debilitation or enemy sign. So it's really good when Jupiter is in, I mean, when Saturn is in Aries, um, uh, Pisces or Sagittarius or, um, uh, 
or Leo or Cancer. Um, those are the best positions for um, the amethyst. Um, so I hope those remedies were interesting. Thank you for allowing me to share that with you, Bobby GG. I, I hope some of those remedies were beneficial for our community. Yeah, definitely. In fact, there's so many new words which I've heard, <laughs> not heard it before. And the points which you made, uh, long back I had heard that there are two things, you know, one is detachment and the other is indifference. It looks very similar if you see externally. And the problem is whenever you say to people that you should be detached, people think they are talking of being indifferent. Indifferent mean, detachment means that there are so many things which you control or you won't, but nothing controls you basically, which means you can stay without something. That's what detachment is. And then indifference means, indifference means you, you are not even concerned about something. For example, we may be indifferent to some colleague in the company, you know, because we may be uh, feeling that uh, that that person has anyways no role to play in my life. So I'm not interested in what's going on in his or her life. But detachment means we like somebody or we love somebody, but we are not dependent on that person to become happy in our life. Of course, if that person is there, then it's great. So they say that if Saturn is well placed in somebody's chart, then it gives detachment. And if Saturn is not well placed, then it can give you the opposite. It could give you indifference. And Saturn is also the Karaka for detachment and indifference. That's why. So one of my gurus used to say that uh, you should be uh, you should be detached but not hard hearted <laughs> it's very difficult it's like a thin line you know you you should be affectionate but not attached that's the statement so if saturn we want to remedy saturn then it's very important that we do not be indifferent to people who have who have given us so much in life, you know, especially family members or relatives or friends or you know our loved ones, and that doesn't mean we should not be detached. That does not mean that we should be attached. It means that we should do our part, and then we should not expect things back from people. That's the problem when Saturn is not well placed. There's a lot of expectation, you see. Oh, this person did not give this back to me. I expected this stuff because sun is the planet like around which everybody rotates and revolves. So everybody wants to be like the sun. <laughs> so to the degree we want to be like the sun that, you know, we want everything to be for ourselves. You know, we, we think that the world revolves around us to that degree. We will spoil our Saturn. And that is why um, I always make it a point, you know, that whenever somebody wishes me you know, in my birthday or any anything uh, in general, then I always make it a point that, you know, I reciprocate to, to my capacity. Of course, I may not be able to do it uh, in, in the same way, but I try my best to reciprocate. So that's one very big remedy for Saturn, uh, in my opinion, that we should try our best to reciprocate with others because... Saturn, as we know, gets exalted in Libra, right? So Libra is what basically? Libra is, Libra is the sign of balance. So that's the law of the universe that you get something and you give back. You give something, you get back. So that should be maintained properly when uh, we do any remedy for Saturn. And the biggest remedy for Saturn, as I always keep saying, 